Hello and welcome to All Things Knitty's Crochet Channel. This week's stitch is the Floral Trellis Stitch. It is a beautiful and easy one row repeat um, with two foundation rows. Then you just repeat the same row over and over. To get this effect, we change um, colours every two rows and I've used multiple colours just to show you just how, um, how pretty this stitch is. So it's very simple. Um, your count for this pattern is a multiple of six plus one. Once you have your um, hook and yarn ready. You will need to use the correct size hook recommended by your yarn and get your chain of six plus one and we will begin foundation row one. Okay, so we have our multiple of six plus one. We're going to begin in the second chain from our hook. So not the first stitch here, not this little one. We're going into the very next stitch. We're going to work a full row of US single crochet. So place your hook through, yarn over and pull a loop through. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two. Insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. One more time. Insert your hook into the stitch and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. You're going to continue working a full row of US double crochet all the way to the end of the row and then we'll begin foundation row two. Okay, so we're going to move on to foundation row two. To do that, at the end of your row, you're going to chain three. So chain one, two, and three. Turn your work. We're going to skip one, and in the next stitch, we're going to work three double crochets. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, push your hook right through, yarn over and pull through. Once you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Another double crochet, so pull through two, pull through two. You're then going to chain two and then repeat. You're going to work three more double crochet into the same chain. So three more US double crochet. So yarn over, insert and then pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You have one more to do for the first. And as you can see, this makes the base of our little flower. Okay, so once you have your, your the base done, you're going to skip two. So skip one, two, and in the next stitch here, you're going to work one double crochet. Just for the foundation row, it's just a regular double crochet. Skip two, one, two, and we're going to repeat the little flower. So it is three, skip one, skip two, we're going to work three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet. Oh. So that's one, two, three double crochet. We're going to chain two and three more double crochet in the same chain. One, two double crochet, and three. Skip two, one, two, and work a double crochet. And that's the repeat for your foundation row. So you will skip two, one, two, work your little flower. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Skip two, work a double crochet. Oh, sorry. So skip two, flower, skip two, front post, one, two, flower, and then you'll be left with three stitches um, and stop and we'll work the end of your row together. Okay, so you've done your last little, um, the base of your flower. You're going to skip two and in the very last stitch, we're going to work a double crochet. We're going to repeat by chaining three and now this is the pattern row that you're going to repeat over and over. So once you've done your chain three, we're going to be working into this chain two space. 
So this is where we're going to do the top of the little flower and it's the same process. So we're going to work three double crochet, chain two and three double crochet all in that chain two space. So that's two, three double crochet, chain two and then we'll work three more double crochet in that chain two space. And as you can see, we've made that's has made one little flower. So you've got your four petals here. Now working, we're going to be doing the double crochet, but to get this where the pattern where the the color changes are kind of hidden, so they're hidden behind, as you can see, um, and it doesn't leave you this big mark. Uh, the blue would be around the post. I'll show you what I mean. But we're going to hide our stitch by doing. Um, we're going to be working our front post, not around the base of the post, but working through these two stitches here. So as you can see, we have one stitch, two stitch. You're going to yarn over and make, making sure you're through the stitches like so, not under here. So you want to be through the stitch there. You're going to work a double crochet. Into the next chain two space we're going to repeat we're going to work three double crochet chain two three double crochet so one two three double crochet chain two three more double crochet one two and three Now this stitch here that I just showed you is not exactly important when you're doing the same colour but when we change colour it is very noticeable why um, we're doing it this way um, and I will show you what I'm talking about. So here you can see one, two, we're going to yarn over, oh I've already did a yarn over, we're going to go through one stitch and round the back of the stitch like so and then do your US double crochet okay you'll repeat your clusters here so three double crochet chain two three double crochet you will work through the stitch like so to work your double crochet work your last flower and then stop and I'll just show you how you end your uh, repeat row okay so we've come to the end of your um, pattern repeat row and we're going to change colour now okay so Cut your yarn, cut your working yarn away. Into this very last stitch here, we're going to work just a double crochet through the stitch. So yarn over, come down to this double chain three, because your chain three counts as your first double crochet. So make sure you have your V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, just two, then stop. Okay, you're going to introduce your new colour. Okay, and I'm going to show you how I like to do this. Um, Make a little loop like so, so your yarn is here. Make the loop, thread that through and pull through those two loops remaining. Then, making sure you have a little tail here, you're going to place the two tails over your working yarn, okay? So place them over the top of the yarn that's connected to your ball and hold them at the back of your work. Then chain three. One, two, three. That keeps them nice and tight and secure until later on when you sew them into um when you sew them into place. We're now going to just repeat the same as we've done before. So we're going to do three double crochet into that chain. Uh, into the chain two space, sorry. So chain one two, three, chain two. And now we're going to work three more US double crochet into that chain two space. So chain one, two, and three. Now I'm going to show you what I was speaking about earlier on with this front post stitch. 
Okay, so if you did a normal front post, so yarn over and going around the post, finish your double crochet, and I'm going to turn around and show you. So underneath you get this, this bar, so you don't get a clean transition between the colours. If you do it the way that I prefer, oh, I've dropped to last. One second. If you do it the way that I prefer to do it, you get a very clean transition between the colours. So yarn over, go through the these two stitches here. So you're working your front post through the 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 previous row. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two and two. And then if you turn your work, as you can see, you don't have this big bar under here, and that gives you a very clean transition between your colours. You're going to continue across the row, working three US double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, one, two, three more double crochet, and that's the row that you repeat. One, two, and three. Now I'm just going to show you this, uh, the front post stitch one more time. So you can see here, one, two, yarn over, go do your front post through here, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and then once you turn your work over to the correct side, you can see you get a much cleaner transition between your colours. Okay, so finish that row of uh, your little flower, and I'll get you at the end um, of the row, and we'll just refresh over again. Okay, so the first, for the bottom row of your flower, you don't change colour, you just do a normal double crochet into this very top chain here. So yarn over, go into that top chain, make sure you have your V and work a double crochet. And then repeat, so you chain three, turn your work and work your, your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, make sure you go through those stitches. Once you have got your pattern to whatever size you want, I'm going to show you how to do the trellis kind of um, design at the top just to close your work. So keep going with your pattern and come back to this point. All the time descriptions will be in, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Come back to this point and I'll show you how to finish this pattern. Okay, so let's close our pattern. So I've just changed colours just to show you, you don't have to do this. Um, to finish off and get the trellis design, we're going to chain three, turn your work. Now, working into the second chain back from that chain three, you're going to go into there and work a single crochet. So go into the second chain and work a single crochet. Then you're going to chain two. And this makes a little corner, as you can see, it gives you like, it squares it off. Now, working into the chain two space, you're going to work one single crochet. So as you can see, make this squares it off, you've got your single crochet. Chain two, one, two, and now working around the post, you're going to finish the same as the row below, you're going to work your double crochet through the, the two stitches rather than the post. Chain two, work a single crochet here. Chain two, work your double crochet around the post, eh, around, around the stitch, sorry. Chain two, single crochet in here. Chain two, work your double crochet. Chain two, single. And now we're going to end the same as we started, so chain two and three, go into the second chain here and work a single crochet and then into the top chain here to finish off you're going to work a double crochet. Through that chain make sure you have your V and finish your double crochet and that just squares off the top of your work with a lovely um, trellis design. Um, the, the count obviously for this pattern was six plus one so we only chain two at the top so that it keeps it perfectly straight at each side. If you work three, it kind of spreads out a little bit. So this just helps pull your pattern and square it off. So that was the floral trellis stitch. Um, I hope you enjoyed that pattern. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. 
please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, you can also send all your um, finished work uh, to the Facebook public gallery. Um, it's a great way to get to know one another and myself, because that's where I post most. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye now. Thank you.